much. Thank you, Adonai, that your word is alive. Thank you, Adonai, that your word is eternal. Thank you, Adonai, that in your perfect timing your word came forth. Thank you, Adonai, that in your perfect timing you revealed your word to your to a, to a nation. Thank you, Adonai, that in your timing the word came down as, as flesh and revealed himself to a nation. Thank you, Adonai, that the word came down as flesh and was crucified and lifted up so all the world can read the word. Thank you, Adonai. I'm very feedbacky. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, Adonai, that, that your word, you didn't bring forth a dead word. Amen. You brought forth a word that has a heartbeat. You brought forth a word that is living. You brought forth a word that has healing. Hallelujah. You brought forth a word that if you bury it, it will resurrect. <laughs> you brought forth a word that if you bury it, plants will just come up where you buried it. And then flowers will grow on those plants and then fruit will come from those plants and it will drop plants and those things that drop fruit and that fruit was, is exactly the word that was planted to begin with. You can't kill this thing. So thank you, Adonai, that your word is eternal and your word is alive and your word is a heartbeat. Amen. And your word is nourishment. And there are so many parts of the word, Adonai, that we just don't understand. This fact we can read the Torah and read about uh, numbers and, 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 and curses and, and, and things that make you unclean. And we don't understand any of it, Adonai, but we don't need to understand. Just like we don't need to understand when we eat food that's nourishing, we don't need to understand what's happening in our body. We just know that it's nourishing us. We don't need to understand exactly what's going on. We don't need to be a nutritional scientist to understand. Ch children, babies don't need to understand that the baby food they're eating is nourishment to them and causes growth. They don't need to understand it. They just need to eat it. So thank you, Adonai, that even the things that we don't understand, we read, we, we, we question, we lift up to you, Adonai, but there's something spiritual is something greater that's happening within us because your word is full of nutrients Amen. that's good for the soul good for the body good for the spirit thank you lot of nice so even as we delve into words that we just don't get father we ask you out of night to do a greater thing a greater thing thank you lord Yeshua is the Word of God, the living Word, our Messiah. The Word is alive. The Word is alive. The Word is alive. Thank you, Adonai. Praise your name. Praise your name. Today is an awesome day on the Jewish calendar. I don't know if everybody is aware of it. Today is the first day of the first month. It is a day of new beginnings. It is a day of new creations. It is a day of springtime. It is a day of answered prayers. It is a day of answered promises. It's a day of having a year of prayer. Well, how long, O oh Lord? It's the month of deliverance that begins today. <coughs> it's the day that God says, I hear what you're saying. And I remember my promise to your ancestors. Oh, yeah. This is the day that God goes, Oh, yeah. <laughs> first day of the first month. It is Rosh Chodesh, the head of the month, where we celebrate that every month. 
every uh, every new moon. So tonight, or last night actually, you won't see a moon in the sky. It's a dark sky. And tonight you may see a little sliver and then a little more and a little more. That God turns the page in darkness. That's why the new month is in darkness. The world celebrates on the, the, the full moons. And they kind of celebrate the moon itself. That's paganism. But it's when it's dark, the Lord says, I'm doing a new thing. I'm declaring a new month. Mm. Now, when it's as dark as it could be. Lord. So some may even say, you may find some people saying, Happy New Year. Because it's the first day of the first month today. So happy new year. <laughs> Even though it's a strange thing, the Jewish biblical calendar is, is, is unique. It's, it's sometimes hard to comprehend. This is the first day of the first month. However, it does say in Torah that the turn of the year happens in the seventh month. So even though it's the first month, actually the turn of the year happens later. That happens in the seventh month in alignment with the autumn festivals that we'll celebrate then. Marty Guess is coming. But the, 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 the new month, the first month happens in the springtime, the month of Pesach, the month of Passover. And today is it. It's a time of new beginnings. So thank you, Adonai, for the fulfillment of your promises. Thank you, Adonai, that your promises get fulfilled. And even though we see full darkness in the sky, we won't see any moon whatsoever bringing light. Adonai, that's when you do your best work yeah. in darkness. Oh, glory. Because darkness is light to you. You don't need no goggles. Father, like people do when they're, when they're outside at night and we can see this, uh, what, what is it? Like sometimes I watch the survival shows and, they, and like they're sleeping and it's midnight and they got to turn on this certain light where they can see out there, infrared light, so it kind of can see what's going on. God don't need that because the darkness is light to Him. Amen. It is light to Him. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, Adonai. But it's a crazy day. It's a unique day. Today is the day, according to Torah, that the, the, it is the erection of the Mishkan. It is the day the Mishkan becomes erected. It is the day that Moses took the pieces, he took the table, he took the lampstand, he took the, 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 the bread, and he put it here, and he, he took... What are the other parts of the tabernacle? I can't even think of any. He, he built the, the tent and all these things, the labor. He put it where it needs to be, and he anointed everything. And Aaron goes through a seven. He went through a, a seven day, um, a seven day consecration period. And then on the eighth day, which is, which equates to the first day of the month, the Mishkan is erected. And the glory falls down in the Mishkan. The Mishkan is the Hebrew word for the tabernacle in the wilderness. The tabernacle is the Mishkan. That's the Hebrew word. You all should know that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mishkan, the Today is the day, according to Scripture, that the glory falls on the Mishkan. Oh. Which is a time of intimacy. If, if you look at the, the expression of God's glory coming down and people covering their faces and going on the floor, it's, it's intimacy. The kids are downstairs, right? Mm -hmm. It's intimacy. Mm -hmm. It's intimacy. This is the day of intimacy. Divine intimacy with our husband. It's also the eighth day. How can it be the first, first day and the eighth day? It's a unique thing. So the Mishkan, the erection of the Mishkan happens on the first day of the first month. But prior to that, Aaron and his sons had to go through a seven-day consecration period, ordination period. Yeah. And then it says on the eighth day, yeah. they became established. So the eighth day is equating to the first day today. And what is the eighth day? That's an amazing day because the, the eighth day, according to Torah and the, and the mysteries of God and His calendar, is an amazing time because all of God's cycles are in the cycles of seven. Like He created the world in seven days, the week is seven. So what does it mean? Like if the week is seven days, what is the eighth day? Eight days a week. <laughs> I love <laughs> Eight days a week. 
not enough to show I care. So if the worldly cycle is seven days, and there's so much in Scripture that seven days, we have the seven seven day week, we have the seven month cycle of the, of the, of the holy days, the Moedim, where like the first, ho- the first holidays are in the first month, and then the last holidays are in the seventh month. Then we have the seven year cycle, which is the Shemitah cycle. And then even that, we have the Jubilee, which is seven times seven, 49 years, and the 50th is the Jubilee. So everything is in, is, is, in, is, in, is, in the, is in the cycles of seven. So what is eight? What is eight days a week? What is the eighth day? It's, it's, it's Adonai's realm. Because the seven cycle is the cycle in, that he created in this world. Everything is in the cycles of seven. So eight is above that. So everything that, that, that relates to something on the eighth day is above nature. It's the supernatural realm where God dwells and he comes down and intersects our naturalness with his supernaturalness. That is the eighth day. Even Pentecost is an eighth day festival. Why? Because after um, the waving of the, of, the, of the Omer, you start counting and says you count for 50 days. Well, what's, and then you have Pentecost, or in Hebrew, Shavuot. Well, what is 50? It's 7 times 7 plus 1. And even the Jubilee year, you have 7 year cycles, and you have 7, seven year cycles, 7 times 7 plus 1. So even that is like a, a revelation of the 8th day, it's supernatural. And God had Aaron be consecrated for seven days, and then it says on the eighth day, the Mishkan was erected and was anointed and all these things. So it's an amazing day today. It's the first day. It's a time of new beginnings. It is the eighth day when God is supernatural. That's why his glory fell on this day. The eighth day is the day of circumcision. Which has amazing revelation in and of itself. And we all know kind of the revelation of circumcision, right? Right, the kids are downstairs, right? (laughs) (laughs) Talk about this or not? Help yourself. Are you going to be offended if I say the word (laughs) deserves? Come on. Listen, I'm not the one who who said the sign of the covenant is going to be circumcision. I'm feeling really awkward, so if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're feeling offended at the rabbi, this is a revelation. What, what is circumcision? I don't even need to tell you. What is circumcision? What, is cir- what happens? What is circumcision? What happens in a circumcision? Cutting off of what? Foreskin. The foreskin. Cutting off of the foreskin. What is the foreskin? Hey, don't get upset with me. This is from Scripture. What is the foreskin? It's a covering. Covering of what? A gland. Oh, what is the gland? The penile gland. Where is it? In my loins. Yeah. <laughs> Which part? Is it? The head. Yeah. Who is the head? Jesus. Jesus. Yeshua is the head. What happens when you get circumcised? You cover the flesh the that covers the head gets cut off. 